here's something that has been on my mind a lot lately, which is that, do you think social media is a fad? Like, do you think it'll be a 25 year thing and then it'll be gone? The reason I think this is I've been thinking about and doing a lot of research on the way the internet and the availability of media has influenced our culture and sort of the way we interact with both fiction and fact and each other. And I've noticed some pretty interesting trends. This isn't like a deep dive video where I'm gonna go into everything I've been reading about. Some of that'll be in videos to come. But I want to address something that's been interesting, which is have you noticed that each subsequent social media site has less? On MySpace, you had all your interests. It was also a blog. You also had music and you also had to rank your top eight friends. Imagine someone asking you to do that now. Facebook was more stripped down, but then it slowly got a bunch of stuff. I don't know if you remember Facebook apps like Honesty Box, but it still made you say like, I'm in a relationship, I'm not, here's my status. And people would upload galleries, I would, of hundreds of pictures from parties, from events, from trips. And people would diligently scroll through, your friends would scroll through, your friends and a couple of weird people who you friended, and they would like stuff. They would really take a tour through your life. Then came Twitter and Twitter was just three sentences. You have three sentences or a chain of three sentences, a tiny picture of you. You can post pictures there, but that's not really what Twitter is for. It's not really a media sharing site. It's more of a discussion site. Your page has almost nothing about you other than the tweets you've already tweeted. Then Instagram. Instagram is a media sharing site and yet, it kind of toes this new line that Facebook never did. You can only upload like what, 10 pictures to one post and it's not like everybody scrolls through because there's verticality to Instagram, like Twitter. You're scrolling through up and down and you're seeing glimpses into feeds that are extremely curated by algorithms. So you're really getting sort of the most diet version of the Facebook experience. Here's a picture of me being hot. Here's a picture of my political views. Here's a picture of a dog. People's feeds are much more curated now. Then when we finally get to TikTok, I've seen TikToks, dance trend TikToks, that are literally a girl standing still for six seconds going. And then they go. And it has like 40 million reviews or whatever. Like they just go, whoa. You know, they do the one dance move after standing there. And that's even crazier because a lot of these TikTok people are getting famous from this shit. When I was a little kid, only famous people were famous. There was this golden mask, this rarefied air around celebrity via notoriety. How did you get notoriety? By being picked up by the mass media and put forward by the mass media marketing. Well, that doesn't fucking exist in the same way now. It does, except for like a girl in North Dakota who has like a nice body and goes, now can have the same amount of followers as a musician who's been in the business for 50, 40 years. You know, it's, it's really wild. Like the nature of fame has completely fallen apart. And I'm not the first person to say this, but I haven't heard anyone say what I'm saying now, which is I think it's all stripping and dwindling down to nothing. There have been a zillion studies that say social media is linked to higher anxiety, depression, feelings of inadequacy, anger, agitation, being fed misinformation. Social media is crazy dark. As each subsequent younger generation gets involved with social media, the form of social media they lean towards is the one that's the most stripped down, the most sparse. Part of me kind of believes that that means social media, at least as we know it, is going to change radically or maybe even slowly dwindle in popularity and go away entirely. Anyway, that's just something I've been thinking about and I hadn't really heard anyone articulate that that way. And I was wondering what you think. So I'm going to ask that bastion of stability, sanity, reason, and forethought, the YouTube's comment section. Uh, what do you think? I'm really curious. Uh, do you think social media is a fad? Do you think it'll evolve in some other cyberpunk direction? I got my cream bang energy drink. And I think there have been studies that say that drinking these are a sign of depression.